All right, hey guys, Light Fusion here. Oh, we're jumping back in Wilson. We got our monthly update, our first update on the new monthly update cycle. This time, what they added in for us. We got a new arena mode, which we're going to take a look at in this. And the other big update was an overhaul to the way armor and defense works in the game. So if you look down here at my health bar, I do have significantly reduced health now. So all of the health values were reduced. But at the very top, I have this yellow gold colored uh, overlay on top of my health. That is my defense rating. And if you look at my character screen, I currently have 451 defense. Now what this is, it is the armor the previous armor values for the armor they have changed those to defense ratings and add all of those up and it gives me a defense rating and the way it works the uh, health that is above this line right here has a defense uh, applied to it so basically I uh, take 45 and a half percent less damage the way I understand it, that's how it works. So 45.5% less damage for my health above that. Now once my health drops below that, I start taking full damage. And then the defense regeneration is just uh, defense boost and it reduces the time I need to recover from a shattered defense. So I actually like this mechanic. It's a way to visualize your armor you can actually see what effect it has on your health and how much of your health it affects so as you start getting uh, better armor that uh, has a higher defense rating that gold uh, overlay will actually work its way down your health bar now the next thing they added like I said earlier was the arena so we have a new waypoint right here so if you go to the Dur stronghold you can head just north to the dirt arena so this is a dirt stronghold uh, waypoint which is where you end up at the end of act one when you finish act one you'll end up in the city and then we're just gonna head this way to get to the arena now they did add a lot of other things to the game a lot of hot fixes and updates and some optimization and stuff um, I'm gonna put the patch notes a link to the patch notes in the description so you guys can take a look through those. Go ahead and head into the arena here. When you get loaded into the arena, there's a gate of fate here, so if you want to change your build up, you can. They also have two merchants here. Uh, they just have just normal items, nothing special. They could eventually, if they wanted to, they could change these to be some kind of special merchants. Maybe if they wanted to start rewarding tokens or something in here. Of course, you got a personal chest. And then a uh, new addition is the target dummies. So we've got a target dummy here. If you wanted to try out some different builds before you jumped into the arena. And then we can talk to this gentleman right here with this uh, kind of glowing... I think that's supposed to be a gate of fate above his head. Uh, we can speak to him. We have two different modes. We have classic and endless. So classic is just... Um, some different challenges and some of these will offer rewards like the the gauntlet ones will offer some rewards for us the other ones don't uh, nightmare doesn't and then of course the other mode is endless so it is just infinite waves and as far as I know each wave gets progressively more difficult so you just basically see how many waves you can survive So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do uh, Gauntlet 1, which is for level 17. Uh, currently level 20, so it shouldn't be too hard. I have done Arachnophobia already. So we're going to go ahead and jump into this. And over here on the uh, right, it gives us our objectives. So we've got our time, our current wave, and our objective is to kill all the enemies. Alright, so it looks like we've got three grave keepers coming at us. It is not very optimized.
So keep in mind this is still alpha uh, and it's fairly early alpha. So it does need quite a bit of work on the optimization still. another new mechanic there that they added uh, if you look under at the top under his health bar that's his weaknesses so he's weak to I think that was his weaknesses I know they added uh, the defense to some of them Let's see what's on these guys it's their strengths so the things underneath them are what they're strong against so it's their resistances. So these guys are resistant to bleeding. Looks like these guys are resistant to holy damage. And he has protection protection. So whatever protection protection is. Final wave. Got a ghoul right here. Three ghouls. Alright, I completed that and I am rewarded with a legendary first legendary I have seen in the game. Actually two, so I got two legendaries off that. It's pretty nice. And then I died from some bleeding. That was awesome. Two legendaries and then I die. did not even realize I was bleeding. Alright, so that's the new update to Wilson. Kind of went over the new defense mechanic that they recently added, as well as the arena. And again, I will have the full the link to the full patch notes down below. So make sure you guys give me a like and a comment. Um, and subscribes are much appreciated. Thanks, guys. I'll catch you later.